Hello, Sarah. Hi, Merritt. I'm really grateful that you came on today to tell, talk to me a little bit about your experience with the coaching process and with me and Master of One Coaching as your support structure in this. So can you tell me a little bit about where you started? We met about a year ago. What, what was that like for you? Yep. What a difference a year makes. Uh, so I originally came into coaching not really knowing what was going to happen, uh, but I know that I needed something to change. And um, I think originally I came in around career. And as we started working, um, we started uncovering some areas that um, I started to realize that there was a missing alignment. Mm -hmm. And so we really started to focus on aligning um, my life career-wise, professionally, but then also um, personally and family. You know, I wanted those all to align. I wanted to be the same person at work as I was at home. Um, so, so that's where we started and it slowly developed into something I never would have imagined into you know, a new career venture um, and uh, just a new outlook on life and how I relate to others. What do you think was the most significant change for you over the last year? Uh, I think when we were exploring um, the different uh, energy levels and recognizing where I was um, in different circumstances, um, and then being able to change careers mm. was huge. I didn't think that that was going to happen so quickly. Uh, and during and the pandemic too. During the pandemic, right, <laughs> of all times. And it, it went really, it, was, it happened really fast. Um, the other part is, you know, I've, I've had employment gaps before, but this one was the shortest gap ever. And I think a lot of that had to do with the work that we were doing together. That's awesome. And how did that inform your, because you were in a leadership role before mm -hmm. um, and you are in another one now. How did that, that work, the, the energy levels and that shifting, how did that inform your leadership? It really allowed me to be a little bit more introspective and not looking at others and what's out there but looking with what's in here and what, what I have accountability for. So in some ways it made me take um, stock of who I am and more accountability. And that accountability I think led to uh, a lot more, not power in the sense of power over people, but power in the sense of um, the decisions I made. That's been a, a very powerful shift for you as I've been working with you. and. I know that you have talked about too, how that inner awareness and knowledge has helped you connect and um, support the people that you lead. Can you talk a little bit about that too? Um, rather than this top-down approach to leadership and um, working with others, uh, I really was trying to foster a sense of community leadership. So where we all lead and there's all this accountability um, and not that top-down approach, which I, I think I had mentioned was, was more traditional in terms of management of others. What would you say yeah. to somebody so, who was looking to uh, hire a coach? Mm -hmm. What would you, what advice would you give them or what direction would you give them? That it can probably lead to changes you didn't even expect or anticipate in any way possible, mm -hmm. which I think think is why coaching has been this magical space for me. Mm. And uh, I never knew about coaching prior to this. And I had talked to you about it. I was like, I just, I don't know about coaching. Uh, but it has become this, you know, magical space where I can explore things that I may not even know that I'm interested in, but through your coaching, and I, I do think you're an exceptional coach, oh, I've been you. able to really learn a lot more about myself and, and this process that we call life. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Sarah, for sharing your insights and your wisdom and your experience. I really appreciate it. And I think that you will inspire others because you have made some amazing and remarkable changes over the last year. And so, uh, yeah, just, just an incredible inspiration. So thanks. Well, thank you, Merit. Love being here. <laughs>
we'll hey, edit some. Hey guys, can you please keep it down out there? <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs>